YouTube Nomad76. Uh, back with you day after Christmas. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. Uh, disclaimer, this this radio here is a 2 meter and 70 70 uh, centimeter, basically a ham radio, portable ham radio. And I am not a, an amateur radio, licensed amateur radio operator. There's my disclaimer. But I'm not transmitting on this, so as, I, as far as I know, unless I transmit, uh, I'm not breaking any laws. So just uh, there's my disclaimer. <laughs> and now I'll go into this is a, a Christmas gift that I got. It is the Bango Fang, if I'm saying it right. It's Chinese made radio. Uh, it's the it's the new 2013 model, the uh, UV-5R Alpha. Uh, so it, I don't know. I can't give you a list of the exact extra features it has. Uh, I've watched a few videos between the two on YouTube, and um, there's you know discussion about just kind of some improved functionality, mainly is what most people noticed. Uh, <clears throat> being as I don't have one of the older ones, I don't honestly I won't know. And this this video is not really going to be a you know full on review of this radio. For one, I'm not. Uh, skilled enough on, on its operation to really give it a full review, nor can I transmit it. I, I have been playing around with the receiving and listening in on some local um, uh, dispatch and you know other things. You know weather radio tuning up, tuning up the uh, NOAA weather radio on here, which is really cool. Um, and other, and I'm sure there's dozens, dozens of other functions that uh, I will be learning uh, o over the next few months. And um, but uh, price point. About I think 52 to 58, maybe 60 dollar range. Uh, two reference points were uh, from uh, stores were from Amazon and uh, eBay. Uh, you know, of course, Amazon. If you're a Prime member, you get free shipping. And some of the uh, stores on uh, eBay were offering ship free shipping also. This one was purchased through Amazon for about 58 dollars, I believe. That and that included sales tax. Um, it comes with a clip here that screws on the back, you know, belt clip, uh, the adapter for uh, European style plug, you know, the 220, which could come in handy if you're a traveler. Um, and then a hands free uh, little earpiece with the built in mic on the line here. Uh, it does not come with the, or it comes also with the lanyard, of course, the box and the charge control setup, which I don't have here. It has a nice size battery here in the back. I've had it pretty much on for, well, since yesterday when I got it uh, in the morning. It is now in the afternoon, the day after. I, mean, I did turn it off last night, you know, when I went to bed, but, and it's still showing full bars after I completely charged it uh, after opening it. So, <clears throat> uh, so there's the radio, and uh, kind of just, I'm also going to discuss a little bit here uh, about comms plans and stuff like that with your group friends, family, whoever they may be, uh, and getting organized in that aspect. It's kind of one of my, <clears throat> one of my new year goals, even though it's, you know, not quite the new year yet, but it's been something I've been, I feel like I've needed to add to my, um, you know, my package, you know, that I needed a better comms setup. Uh, I did a kind of a comex exercise uh, earlier in the year, and um, <clears throat> I thought my shortwave radio could receive better than it could. And I was hoping to receive messages from other individuals, uh, and I, I realized that I was really lacking. And uh, this, I'm hoping that we'll kind of bring that all together because I looked at the option of buying a really nice shortwave radio. Now, granted, some of the really nice ones I'm pretty sure can receive more frequencies than this radio can, but um, you know, I, it's one of those things that was. $58 versus some of the nicer radios are on the, the like $70 and up, you know, range. You know, I've seen some quite a few videos on those. I know you in the $70 range, you can get some decent ones. But if you really want the, you know, the, the fancy shortwave radios, you're going to look at uh, only, uh, you know, above that price point. This allows me, obviously, in, in the future, we get my license to actually broadcast too, which that makes a huge difference. I mean, so. <clears throat> which is cool too you can pick up GMRS and FRS frequencies on here I have I have multiple uh, FRS and GMRS radio you know I just actually got my boys a set for the, for them to play around with a cheap set 
um, and they were running around out in the yard and stuff and, you know, playing on those and I was listening in to them, you know, on, on this radio. Um, and, you know, if you ever, you know, just go online, you can print off the frequencies for the channels so you know what to dial it into. But, um, so now I'm kind of rolling into the comms plan thing. Um, it, you know, at minimum, I feel that every person should have uh, at, at least the FRS and GMRS radios for uh, that that short distance two-way communications. You know, and I'm sure you've all seen videos, and if you haven't, there's plenty of them out there. A lot of them claim, you know, 15 miles, 20 miles, and all these crazy things. They usually, depending on where you're at, you know, you're going to get a mile or two out of them, and in some places maybe less. Uh, I've tested mine in my local area, and I get I've gotten out to past two miles, but it kind of depends on which direction I'm going and if I'm getting gaining altitude over where my home is. Uh, so, <clears throat> and I'm a fairly wooded area and you know uh, suburban type of area too. So, uh, so yeah, that that has effects on your on your uh, your communications. Um, so a comms plan, I, I got a folder here, a binder, an old uh, three-wing binder that I'm going to start building a comms plan in and start, for one, I'm just going to start printing off stuff like the frequencies um, for FRS and GRMRS, the NOAA weather uh, radio frequencies for my local area and maybe other areas that I plan on going to in the case of a, an emergency. And um, <clears throat> uh, repeater, your local repeaters and then, you know, other areas that, you know, if you plan on traveling. Uh, in the event of a uh, situation where you need to leave your home, um, you know, print those off, have the hard copies because, or you know, paper copies, I guess, because if you, you know, you, your uh, computer goes down, the internet goes down, or whatever, uh, you lose power and you have no way to charge your computer. However, it may be, your, and uh, you know, you're not going to have, you know, having these is extra, maybe even having an extra set. In your in your bug out bag or in your vehicle or at a retreat location, so that you know. Uh, but coming down to a comms plan with your group, and that could be a whole another video. And there's a lot of them out there on the on YouTube. So I'm not going to try to uh, create the re, you know recreate the wheel here. And you know each plan you have is is specific to your group. Um, and you, what the point is is you need to sit down with them and figure it out. Come up with frequencies channels. Uh, same with like, because you you know maybe your group is not ever gonna come online and get you know something like this or the 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 larger uh, amateur radio setups, the hams, the high freak, and the um, uh, believe me, I you know I'm I really don't know what I'm talking about when I talk about some of this stuff. But if you talk to me about FRS and GMRS and and CB radios, I, I you know I'm fairly versed. I've been using them for many years, but you know, start talking about some of this other stuff. Uh, as far as civilian terminology, some of it I, I'm aware of because of the military, but uh, we kind of work on a whole different playing field uh, with that. So, and, um, but um, come up with a plan. You know, I said the minimum, you know, your cell phones, to talk to people, uh, watch some of the news stories and stuff like that about Hurricane Sandy and other natural disasters. The cell towers get just jammed up. Um, you know, in that local area, that tower will just, you know, the cell phone service may not be down because of the storm. The tower may still be there. There may still be power applied, you know, but so many signals are going in that it just overloads it and it cannot, you know, you cannot get through. Um, so, you know, having these alternate sources of, um, you know, radio service, you know, <clears throat> if your family members have a shortwave uh, radio, and I, I believe a lot of them, they need the ones with the single sideband. And, and please comment and let me know. You know, I, I'm really into wanting to learn about this. And, um, it, you know, when I'm talking out my rear here. So, but um, if they have the right ones, if I say I had a license, I could broadcast out saying, hey, you know, me and, you know, the kids and the wife are safe. Uh, we're, we're working on packing our stuff up and we'll be heading your way. You know, and they could just at least hear that transmission they may not be able to reply back, but at least then they know that I'm safe and I'm on my way. Um, you know, and then when we get in closer range, then we can start using 
CB radios or, or uh, FRS, GMRS radios to get in contact. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of options there. Just what I'm you know, putting out is you guys should do some research and uh, look into your plan, see, see what kind of plan you have out there. And there's, like I said, there's plenty of YouTube channels out there. They have great information about uh, these radios and other ones. There's a lot of other ones. Um, brands that are more expensive they're probably you know maybe american made or japanese made you know they may be better quality but i did see quite a few good reviews about these you know not having any reliability issues so i figured uh it'd be a great starter radio you know something i could get started with so uh and, and not if i end up you know just not getting that interested in it and you know so on and so forth i didn't go out and blow a couple hundred dollars or over a hundred dollars on the radio that I may never use again so highly recommend uh, to you know look into your comms plan look at your you know your communications and uh, get out there there's plenty of resources I, I found a lot of frequencies for my local um, emergency services and stuff like that on a, a website called radioreferences.com uh, you know you don't have to register anything and you can just get on there and type in like your county and it'll pull up all the emergency services and fire and EMS and things like that so um, thanks for watching once again uh, Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year's to all you Nomad76